Did someone do a, a rewire on this or no? Where was that buddy? Somebody he did those two. We redid those scotch locks. We fit, yeah, we had, it's all scotch locks, which if you know anything about scotch locks, you're probably the number one best wiring. <laughs> well, we yeah, when the, the flywheel turns and then it comes around, it's got an eccentric, it's got a flats on it, I think, on the hub. Are we getting the skid in Tom's toy today? Ooh, dude, I don't know if I can do it. Got the key to the top. So you want to try to get that? I think, I think Spark got it. Yeah. I think Spark got it. Now I'm going to turn it and you're going to watch to see if the points open up in the windows. Through the windows. Through the, Through the walls. Window. All right, turn it forward. Just let me know. Oh yeah. Points well. are opening. Okay, what's the point? Okay, at max open, what is the point gap? Tell me when it's max open on one of them. You only have two little windows, bud. You're going to have to keep going one more. You gone? Yeah, I can't even see the one. Oh. Point gap, they want like 14, 18,000. Keep going. I'm choking myself out with my suit. Keep going. <laughs> that one's just starting to open. I mean, whatever you got. I can't. They don't. I'll get you a feeler gauge. They don't ever open on the windows. Do you want me to rotate? Yeah, you could. They don't open on the windows. Doesn't matter which way, oh, clockwise, counterclockwise. Turn, turn it, turn it forward. No, that way. Sure. Which would be clockwise. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Once you have to turn the hang on, so you going. You going. Okay, stop. Why is it like a hard spot now? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right there is max open, I think, Spark. Oh, is it? Well in the end. That's about can you get a few you got a feeler gauges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put them away last weekend so I know where they are. <laughs> Next one up. Okay. The old feelies. Here. You got a set of feeler gauges. Yeah, I do. I put them away last week and I know where they were. <laughs> They're in the nice. um, the drawer with the markers and stuff. Are, uh, in the tape measure. This guy is also in Fuzzy Crocs. Fuzzy Crocs. I got two pairs of socks on and I can definitely start feeling the cold on them. Lost the <laughs> Dang, why does your bike look so clean, Spike? You're 125. No. The motor's just bothered. It's almost like it doesn't ride it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is nice and warm down there. How should look? Well, 12 fits in there. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put like a 16? an 18, like a 16. 17. Yeah. And what you want, guys? You want you want to have rust on the feeder gauges, so it makes it an extra like foul. Yeah, for sure. I really should have a bent. A bent one, yeah. See, because I'm pushing. I mean, it looks it looks about right. It doesn't look excessive. I know what twenty thousands looks like. It ain't twenty. So something you guys are wondering. Those are the two windows they're talking about. The two openings. Yeah, and basically you can kind of get an idea of points opening. You got them? Yeah, there's. Uh, it looks pretty good. I can always. Press it back. If anything, they'd be in the one door up. Oh my head's on here, bone somewhere. Look at this one. This is where the other one's We gotta bring that golf pusher back from They were like, great. No, no, I already looked at it. I don't wanna look at it. Stay here. This is right. Those are brand new ones. I had some for my for my Mojave. I might have my work though. Yeah. I draw organization in this. Is that in this box? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it might be. It'd probably be like this drawer. Yeah, I. Well, let's just try it. Well, clean, I'm gonna try yeah. it. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this thing's all right. One, let's, you can see, one here. was not firing, one was pig rich. Okay. So, two different spark plugs, guys. Number one thing you always <laughs> wanna do is run two different style plugs. Really helps. <laughs> so, we're gonna gap these at about 18,000 when we're all done. We're gonna have Sullivan, he's gonna clean them. Basically, the wire brush and some brake clean. And yeah, so, I uh, cleaned up the plugs, threw them back in. They got the flywheel on and all that stuff. I think I recorded yeah, that. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what she does here. Oh. 
Same shit. Try her again. Some stinky shit in that tank. Wow. It, it's just that one there always loads so much nicer. Oh, you're swapping the tester? Yeah. This, this one glows better, is what you're saying? Yeah, watch how this one here is. I think it needs a CDI. Oh. Yeah, it needs a CDI box. <laughs> no, it needs a uh, ECM, big time. <laughs> the fuel injectors are just plugged. It was better though. Well, it was a little bit better. It was hit and miss though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Once you revved it up a little bit, it started to hit. Right. And then nothing when it was idling, kind of. And like I said, we swapped. Now we we swapped down there. It'll switch. Let's down. see now. Let's try it though. Make sure. Then this one should be dog shit once right. we switch it. Oh, you're swapping the wires down there? Right. Yeah, we swap which points tell which, which oil, oil what to do. Fire. And that should transfer to the other cylinder. And if it does, then our points are the issue. If it doesn't, it doesn't the point is the issue. That's the key testing right there. That's just, it, that cap sounded real gnarly. It's basically right. just unplugged wires down there. There's two and blocks. Down. These two right here. Right you better put some bullets on. Yeah, some bullet, bullet. It was weird, and it, it's really, to me, it's like the wrong thing. Try to switch it back now. See if it runs any better. It ran piss poor there. Oh, Holy yeah. Christ, it wouldn't rev up. I tried choking her out like the bread of the child. <laughs> she didn't like it. Yeah. This would be a summer. You can take it back, and we can do it in the summer. Yeah. When it's warm. Unless he wants a grass dragon. <laughs> Fine points for these things? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I just I mean it's just a cocksucker. We'll just have to take the whole the whole side whole off. Side off. You take the stator out and you have to solder a condenser on it. And then uh Is that a fresh snap on beanie? I yeah. mean it's not fresh, but it, it's it's gently used. Is that an inside out too? Yeah, I put it orange for, for just in case we High go viz? on the highway. High vis, yeah. Flag them in. Yeah. In the dark we Well I'd to... say herders. Running on a one and a half cylinders. Like this is a 440. This like, thing has no balls. Like this thing won't even uh, move. Uh, like basically, there's 440 huskies in there, and they're basically 
200. There's no, there's about, there's, there's about 220 puppy huskies in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> little puppies in the front, dude. Yeah. Not even a husky. No, they're, they're, they're like little, uh, little wiener dogs in there, pretty much. Right, just some, around. Some poodles or something, you know. So, we've came to the conclusion that it's most likely a points thing on the one set or a condenser. More or less often, I think the condensers get goofy and they start acting up weird. But, you but if can, you're doing one, you, you might know, as well do one. We did have no spark originally. Cleaned them. We cleaned them more. It runs better cleaning yeah. them more. But it's just the nature of the beast. Once these things sit for over a decade, you got to read through the points. You know, it's just once these things sit for a decade, you better. You want to get OEM Bosch stuff though. Bosch yeah. points. Apparently, the Chinese knockoffs are are problematic. And we know it's not a spark plug because we changed the the, yeah. the things down there and yep. it and it. Uh, and it really ran poor. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it ran really poor. Look at your spark changes from glowing side to right. yeah, spinning. Like this was, I thought the spark test was gonna bust in half. It got so bright that it was like it was a goddamn cool. balloon. Yeah. Um, Speedo was just jumping. Like the bearings down there are great. I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, yeah, that's gonna be the the end of the husky for a bit. I mean. Yeah. I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna put points in this thing at zero degrees weather. It's just it's not fun. Yeah, not really. Good idea. And the, and the the black tape on the gas cap. But yeah, we did get rid of the scotch locks for easy swap. That's why yeah. Mark could just take the bullets, unplug them, plug them in. Man. Diagnostic that way. Um, carbon Schrader. It definitely has a gnarly bog, but it's yeah. also running on like one cylinder. So. Yeah. Like we said, two. And then there's not like the flex or the Y pipe <laughs> self tapper together into the. Uh, yeah, you you could see outlet. it shooting smoke off. Oh, oh that I it's fight. the worst. <laughs> Out of the manifold. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be it on the husky, I think, for a bit. Yeah. I'll try to source some points. The model tags right here. If any of you guys know where to get them, but I'm gonna just go on eBay and try to find them. But, uh, or or hit up some of the guys in the vintage groups on Facebook. And that secondary didn't even think to open, dude. Oh, oh no. It might, it might get back there sooner or later. <laughs> Dude, it I, might. I saw it. It wanted to twitch. It might. A little yeah. bit. I think the primary is junk. Oh, this thing. It's basically like an old guy trying to get off the couch. It, it, it tries to, but it just can't get back. It's, it can't yes. get up. It has to want to be moved. Yeah. Oh, dirty, buzz. Dirty. As some might say, you gotta want. I mean, look at that chooch guy. Dude, this that thing sounds just this so This thing bad. sounds like a chainsaw mixed with like... But you know how many guys at the vintage shows sleds sound just like this running on one cylinder? Yeah. They just... Like this thing might need some pushing to get it to move. 